shall receive power, July 23. Women gifted to benefit humanity. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, which testified, He told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Women may accomplish a good work for God, if they will first learn the precious, all-important lesson of meekness in the school of Christ. They will be able to benefit humanity by presenting to them the all-sufficiency of Jesus. When each member of the church realizes his own individual responsibility, when he humbly takes up the work which presents itself before him, the work will go on to success. God has given to every man his work according to his several ability. It will not be an easy task to work for the Master in this age, but how much perplexity might be saved if workers continually relied upon God and duly considered the directions that God has given. He says, Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. This is a subject that demands close, critical study. Many mistakes are made because men do not heed this instruction. Many who are entrusted with some humble line of work to do for the Master soon become dissatisfied and think that they should be teachers and leaders. They want to leave their humble ministering, which is just as important in its place as the larger responsibilities. Those who are set to do visiting soon come to think that anyone can do that work that anyone can speak words of sympathy and encouragement, and lead men in a humble, quiet way to a correct understanding of the scriptures. But it is a work that demands much grace, much patience, and an ever-increasing stock of wisdom. <laughs>